Hey guys, Darren here. Welcome to Mayhem Country Living. Hope you guys are doing okay wherever it is that you are. I am back home and I wanted to just kind of do a little update. Um, a lot of people had asked about these plants and we're going to do a video on how you would pack them up to ship them to, once they're sold. Cause that, that's a good question. We had to actually order some to figure out how it's done. And it's, it's really interesting, but that's not what this video is about. I'm just gonna give you an update on in here and in the greenhouse, show you the vegetables and everything that's coming up. And just uh, show you uh, catching up on uh, stuff around the property. I gotta cut a little bit more grass, had to go get some gas. And uh, I'll just show you. These uh, are the ones that have been separated and are growing down here. And we keep everything down here around 80 degrees and you can see we got a fan in this little area to circulate. So these things are doing good. This is a new one uh, that uh, we've just gotten in and this is a uh, philodendron, I wanna say. Um, and it's just a cutting and it has the nodes. And so we've got it sitting in the water and this is another one that we just got in this is another uh i think it's a philodendron also we have to uh some of the labels aren't on these guys down here because she knows more about them than i do and i was gonna see so that that's really about it these things are are doing great and all we're doing this fall and winter cutting and propagating cutting and propagating selling the occasional one to uh buy more stuff uh, buy more rootstock and then buy more dirt and stuff like that. So this so far is just self-supporting, which is okay. But you know what I've always said, if, if your hobby is supporting itself, you need to do a little bit better with it, in my opinion. Um, now we're going to go outside and I'm going to show you the vegetables and everything that are coming in nicely for our fall garden, maybe winter garden, depending on how the weather does. But um, everything appears to be uh, coming along pretty well, and uh, all right, we'll go upstairs. More coming. These are our black bell peppers, and it, it might be a kind of a dark purple, but I want to show you. There we go. This is even better. These are mealy bugs that are coming in on this guy. So we're gonna have to spray these guys with a little bit of neem oil and you can actually see even more right there coming in. So we're gonna have to spray and spray. There's another one, nice bell pepper coming in. And see, you can see, or see you can see when I get it situated. mealybugs. So we're going to have to do some neem oil on these guys and that will not be a problem at all. Looks like I need to put a little bit more dirt in here too. And uh, these guys are doing well. My chives are coming in nicely. I've got some onions we're getting ready to do. I've done onions by seed and we're also going to, there we go. And they're coming in, coming in. <clears throat> Um, but we also have some bulbs we're going to put in here and these are regular potatoes in, in here also you remember from the videos and look at these these are tomatoes volunteers somehow so we're going to get these things done and this is the one I transplanted and it is about 18 inches tall and it is coming in really really nicely this is the one that was in uh, the compost pile uh, the sweet potatoes, you can see they're doing really good, and I want to get about 50 pounds of sweet potatoes uh, to put away, and it's, the process is working, actually. Uh, it's going good. Uh, cucumbers. I'm having trouble. There we go. Cucumbers are coming in, and they're actually coming in pretty well. Uh, parsley, ginger, more peppers, basil.
more basil from cuttings, and then we have rosemary. So all these guys are actually doing pretty dang good. And then more sweet potatoes, uh, you can see. But, there we go, sorry about that. But what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna get the neem oil and spray these guys and get them taken care of. And then I'm gonna get out on the mower and it's just regular neem oil, it's already pre-mixed. That's kind of convenient if you're not using buckets of the stuff. Uh, if you're gonna be spraying fruit trees, you might wanna buy the concentrate, mix it up, spray it with a sprayer. Makes it a little bit easier for you to do that. But I gotta get these things under control. Um, so we're gonna wrap it up for now. And uh, I'll take a picture of the container, the neem oil that I use, and it's six or seven dollars, Walmart, something like that. Uh, if you're gonna get it, go ahead and get it now before they close down their, their seasonal garden stuff. That would be what I would do. So I gotta get to work. More to come. Okay, guys, I decided just to add this to the end of it, the video. This is Captain Jack's neem oil. It's all ready, mixed, and like I said, six or seven bucks from uh, Walmart, Lowe's, something like that. You can probably buy it off Amazon, maybe a little bit cheaper. I don't know. Uh, it depends on how the shipping is for you. And you go ahead and spray the leaves, spray under the leaves, and, uh, you know, don't harvest today, obviously, or, or a day or two afterwards. Kicking the butt is, if you're using this out in direct sunlight, it's going to cause problems with your plants. Do this early in the morning or late in the evening. Um, I wouldn't even be doing it. It's almost midday. I would not be doing it at this time of day, but I'm in the greenhouse and I'm under shade cloth. So... Well, heck, I figure I'll just go ahead and take you with me and show you how I'm applying it, too. There we go. More time. Shake up the neem oil. There's some good stuff. I'll spray it a little bit better once we get... There you go. You can really see these critters. There. There. But that is what we're doing, and uh, I'm gonna have to set it down. And it actually doesn't even have a bad smell. A um, little bit of an oily feel to it. But that is it, we're gonna wrap it up. I gotta water out here again today. I'll do that this evening once the sun goes down. So thanks for coming by, thanks for hanging out. I, I did not plan to do the neem oil demonstration, but figured I'd take you on uh, the killing spree right now. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care of you people. Take care of your plants.